Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and today I would tell you I'm gonna keep it quick, but I probably won't because I have a lot to show you in this killer ambulance build behind me. But this is just gonna be showcasing our new bumper. Mainly these are going to be for the RVs, but of course we could probably do them on your van as well. So I hope you guys, let's, let's jump into this video. You know, you guys wanna see a crazy bumper, I got one for you. the whole kitchen so we decided hell why not pack it into a bumper or at least a lot of it so I know for my own personal use of RVs I never have enough storage in my RV and the one big thing that I hated storing in my RV was going to be my barbecue because I always got to find a place for it it always seems to be bouncing around and be getting damaged and I did not like that so the whole thing what we did here was did a barbecue tray. So this is gonna be, we're just gonna walk through this whole thing and have some fun. So you can see here that that's gonna slide out and this thing is brand new. So it's gotta get some little love into it. So you can see we're running the Blackstone griddle on this. So now you have two options on this barbecue. You can run it with just the little propane tanks that will go right here. Or you can see we also have a spot for a larger propane tank. So if you wanna run the small propane tanks, you could do so here and use this space for something else. Maybe you wanna put a gas can, maybe you wanna put water jugs, endless opportunities of things that you can put on the side of this, it just never ends. So what's nice about this is yes, you can hang out back behind your coach and you can be cooking. Um, you're gonna have a secondary compartment. This is going to have a screen. So if you wanna keep your grilling utensils, whatever you wanna put in there, you can do that there. It's got two magnetic uh, latches, which is gonna hold it closed, but then the pin is really going to be securing it closed. So that's cool. And I mean, maybe the coolest thing is just the little badge on it. I don't know. The thing is, is if you're barbecuing, do you really wanna be hanging out behind your RV and the answer is probably no not really because like the party's like over here with the FedEx guy you know like this is where all the cool stuff's happening anyways let's show you what this thing does so now I can swing this around so let's say I just want it to be sideways I'm not wanting to block my camp you know, whatever it may be. Okay, cool, now I'm hanging out behind it. You know, the party's going on here. There's going to be an awning coming off the side of this. Guys, you gotta picture it all with me as we're out in the middle of nowhere and you have this all going on, which is going to be great. You have a secondary top. You can even have another box on there if you wanna get completely crazy. So we'll keep going, we're going, but maybe it starts to rain. And you're like, well, damn it, I don't want to be out in the rain. So, so it starts to rain and now I've rotated it all the way to the side. And now I'm underneath the awning. You know, you got to picture it, guys. This is what I picture. This is my craziness. So I'm hanging out on the side of my RV, hanging out, grilling, having a good time. I got my friends. This is where it's at. So something a little bit different you know, just creating. So up on the top, you have two options. You could definitely do more storage. You can see that we've done additional hooks so that if you are gonna put, you know, a tote or water or anything up on top of this, you're gonna be able to tie it down, which is always going to be a plus. So, and then right here, I wish I had one right now. I wish I had maybe a cold Corona, maybe someone will bring me one. And I could just pop the top with a built-in bottle opener here on the side of it, and there's actually these on both sides of this. So if it's closed, you know, you can still get in there and open it up. So something really cool, but wait a second, we're not done yet. So if we're gonna be barbecuing, you know that you're gonna need a table. And so we have our aluminum table mount back here in the back of this so that I can easily take my table and fold it out. Now that lifts up too, but you can see all of these things that I'm normally 
This is big. I'm trying to find a spot for it inside the RV. There's nowhere to put it. It sucks being inside. It rattles around. None of the compartments are big enough. Well, there you go. Easily mount it to the back of any of your boxes, your spare tire carriers. Hell, you can even put this thing on the roof. It's got pins, it locks in. This thing will even go underneath. There's so many places we could put this. And we're not even done yet, so let's keep going. Now we have access to the back of our, our ambulance in this case. So typically, if you were going to do this kind of setup on an RV, you're not gonna have the rear door. So here's the thing. The reason that one, this is gonna swing out of the way because we want it in camp. On other RVs, you're going to have a ladder on one side of the back or the other. So now with this being open, it's going to give you access to the ladder. Now we move to the pass driver side swing. So again, more options. So a lot of you are wanting to run a spare tire. So this would give you the ability to run a spare tire on this swing. This particular customer wanted to go with the double boxes. So we're gonna have two boxes on the back of this that are going to open up and give it a ton of storage inside for gear. So again, you always need more room. Now, you may be wondering what these two crazy racks are for up here. And if you're gonna be out in the middle of nowhere, you need your bicycles. So this is actually a bike rack up on the top. So he'll be able to also carry at least two bikes on the top of that, which, I mean, it's got everything. So, and then this swing as well, you're going to see that that is going to swing out of the way and you have all kinds of room. What's nice about this is if you wanted to run a set of max tracks, uh, maybe you want to run something else on the back of this, you still have the ability to have even more storage behind this. You're gonna see now you have a nice wide open area. So if you're gonna want both doors all the way open, you're going to be able to do that. There's nothing about the bumper that is intruding the getting in or getting out. The biggest downfall of this of the money rv is step to get in maybe we need another step to like that would just like go on it for temporary you know use but i don't know guys what do you think that's a ton of stuff that i kind of shown you i know that this bumper was kind of a lot going on so if you have questions on any of this we're gonna pause this well, that's about it for this craziness that we've created on the back of this ambulance. And we are looking forward to having this be a new product that is available on any of your guys' RVs, ambulances, whatever it may be. Of course, we love building craziness here at Weld Tech Designs. I would really love to know what you think. There is a lot going on here in this bumper. I'm sure that I missed something. I know it. I always do. But um, I hope you guys dig it comment below let me know what you guys think of not only the bumper but let me know what you guys think about the money ambulance so that's all i got make sure you guys have smashed that subscribe button and give them this video a big thumbs up i'm jeremy from wild tech designs and i will see you guys in the next video see ya